Keep It Crazy family. So adoption shirts. I've been just like wanting to have them so perfect. And as you guys know, Lucas and Savannah, we did black adoption shirts with Melinda. We did red because that was her favorite color. Well, our new kid's favorite color is brown. <laughs> Which is so different than what I was gonna, I actually wanted to do like a blue, but I asked them all and they all said brown. So the girls went with like a light, like an off-white, and then the boys wanted to wear a dark brown. So these are gonna be our adoption colors, which I'm really excited. I think they're gonna be really cute. So um, there's a local shop though that does, that'll do like the printing and stuff for us. I would do it myself with the Cricut machine, but you all know that I, I messed up on Melinda's and it did not turn out right. And we need like 50 of these made. So we're gonna take it over there and see what they can do and make sure they can do it in time. So I'm really hoping that this works out. Our pool keeps like almost overfilling. Like I look out and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like it's gonna overfill Aaron and it came, or. Er, one of the kids or someone messed with the auto filler, I guess. And so he's out there pumping some of it out right now. And then we'll get headed over to the store. Okay, if you're wondering why Brody is home, and this is on a school day that we're filming this, it's because he is now doing online school. Online school! So I'm super excited to have him home and we get to spend more time together. Though he's still doing classes online all day, so I don't know about that part of it. But, um, but yeah, he's on recess right now, so he's gotta head back. So he is doing the same program that the Crazy Middles are doing with their younger kids, and they absolutely love it, and I'm loving it so far. I think it's pretty cool. They even do PE. I see him outside doing, what were you doing the other day outside? Jump rope, that's what it was, right? Yeah, I had to jump rope. He had to jump rope, that's pretty cool. Are you liking it? Yeah. We are going on a little adventure just really quick, so thank you for coming along this little fun adventure with us. So over the last couple years, my mom has been through so much, as have a lot of people. And so anytime I can spend with her or anything I can do to help her, or make it her life easier, I try to do that. But look what I got her. So I got her the Roborock S7. You all know that I'm obsessed with vacuums. Like I absolutely love them. I love Roborock, they work amazing. So we're gonna go in right now and surprise her with this vacuum, show her how to use it. Um, and well, so she had been talking about that she loves mine and how it goes throughout the house and it doesn't require a lot of work. And she's like, I just really want one of those. And so I can't wait to be able to give this to her. So let's head into her house right now. We're sitting out front. There's our house. Okay, let's go. Mom. Hi. Hi. I'm here. Come on in. <laughs> wait, I have a surprise for you. You do? Yes. Weird. You love surprises? I love surprises. Look what I got you! <gasps> Are you kidding me? No! I have always wanted one. They're so cool. I Are have to show you how to use it. Okay, yeah. I'm so excited. And even mops? Yeah, and even mops. Oh my god. This one is so nice. And I have so much floor to mop. <laughs> <laughs> so she just redid her flooring in here. You can see her stairs, and then she still has carpet in this room. Yeah. I just got the app set on my mom's phone, and I'm just gonna show her I got it all plugged in. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. Okay, mom. So, the cool thing is you can start it from the app, and it maps it out, and it'll do cleaning, like, every area. And then it can clean so much, well it has 180 minutes of clean time, but it'll go back and charge itself and finish the job if it hasn't finished it. So oh, wow. that's really cool. So let's go ahead and start it. So it will make a map of the house and then it'll tell you the battery level, the cleaning time, all of that that it's done. So it can easily go from hard floors to carpets. Also, my mom has like a tri-level house, which I was a little worried about because there's different levels. 
it will not go off the edge. It has smart technology that it won't go off the edge right here. So you can just move it to the different levels as you want it to clean. Um, also, it has a mop, so it can mop your hardwood floors, which are really nice. It can really do any hard surface. So my mom just said she's surprised that her dog isn't really afraid of it, but it is a lot quieter. Like, it's a very quiet vacuum. Yeah. If you have an area that you don't want it to go in, you can set up no-go zones oh. on the app. And you can also tell it, um, like, set up boundaries if you don't want it to go in certain rooms, too. That is cool. Now your floors are going to be clean. I'm loving it. Oh, I'm glad you like it. You're gonna absolutely love it. It's the best thing ever. So in here is how you clean it out. You just push this little button and pull it out. Look at that's all the dirt it's got so far. But then you just open this little door and dump it in there. Click the link in the description box down below to order your Roborock S7. You will love it. And you're gonna enjoy it so much. Like, oh, thank you. you won't be able to live without this thing. I know I couldn't live without mine. So. Oh, I am so excited. Aww. This is something I wanted. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Wait! wait. <laughs> Early birthday or birthdays in May? It's coming there up. There we go. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad you love it. I do, I love it. Did you guys know that Aaron has a superpower? I do have a superpower. And <laughs> it is that he can go somewhere like one time and then all of a sudden he just knows how to go there. To where I always have to use my map because I have no sense of direction. But we were at this place, um, this was a couple years four, ago. No, like four or five years ago. Yeah. It's when we owned an ice cream truck. That's a weird, that's a story for another time. But, <laughs> um, and he just like out of the top of his head, it's here and here and we made it. So let's go in and see if they can do these adoption t-shirts. Let's do it. So good news, they can do the adoption t-shirts and it takes them about two weeks to do as many as we need. And we still have quite a few weeks before the adoption. So that's perfect. Yay, we're successful. So I can't wait to see how they turn out. You know what it is? Are you so excited? Yeah. Aurora's been saving her money and she bought this pink scooter that she's been so excited about. We're gonna open it and then write it. It's pink. It's a mama. You're welcome. It is cool. Okay, look how cool this thing is. So you can sit. Okay, there you go. Now Jamie's saying that she wants one and that's so cute, like a purple one. I don't know, we'll have to try to find that. Um, but on a more serious note, um, with Brody and why we're choosing to put him online school right now. So he has been struggling a lot and he has been getting made fun of at school and started acting out. And as parents, like when something's out of character, it's like, okay, what is going on? Because it's not his normal character to throw these like big temper tantrums and different stuff. So we were like, okay, stop for a second. Like, let's see what's going on. So we did choose to pull him out of public school and put him in this online program. It's still public school, but it's an online it's public school. Online yeah. public school. Um, but we're doing that just temporarily while we're figuring out the situation and figuring out what is going on. Um, and I highly recommend if you're going through something hard at school 
or if you notice, if you're a parent and you're noticing different behaviors in your kids, to definitely look into it because if it's out of character for them, something more is going on. So we're just currently figuring it out, but we're enjoying our time together at home and we're loving it. We're getting a lot of extra one-on-one time. And so, and he has always been one that loves school. Like he just loves school. He loves school. And he always yeah. looks forward to it. He's like art class is his favorite. Um, so we've gotten him some extra art supplies to do at home and he's really enjoying the online school too. So I'm glad and we're still figuring it out. He may be going back to in person soon, but we'll see as soon as it is all yeah, how it all plays out. How it all plays out. Okay. So but right now we're just enjoying extra love and one on one time. Look how cool this is. Brody has been building this for days. Tell me like what Okay. I mean I know it's Spider Man stuff, right? Yeah, it's Spider-Man No Way Home Lego set. Um, Do you have a favorite character? The, these, these two. Those two? But I'm gonna make a new homing movie. It's gonna be Toby. But this time, like, I made specific scenes. So I made the scene where they fell, and like, and, and then Green Goblin hit him, and then Andrew went to catch MJ, and then. This scene right here is where Doc Ock is going to be talking to Toby Maguire, but I need to make the minifigure. And this is when all of them are lined up at the Statue of Liberty. This is, li this is Liberty. If you haven't seen the movie, I feel like this is like a spoiler alert, yeah. right? <laughs> I think you should have said that before. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure a lot of anyone who wants to see it has seen it. Hopefully, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Do you want to go see it again? I know dad's been talking about wanting to go take him because he wants to see it again in theaters, but that's cool, Brody. I love it. Yeah. Love that. Brody is currently on his lunch break from school, and so we are doing some cooking things. So we have 45 minutes to make lunch. So we're going to try to make some eggs. Brody has never cracked an egg without getting shell in it. So we're going to attempt. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You didn't let me show you how you do it. You do it first. Okay, don't do it on the edge like this or this no, because on the table. Yeah. Like so, okay, go ahead. Not a little bit harder. <laughs> it's gonna get you. You gotta do it a little more. <laughs> Is that good? Uh, yeah, that might be good. I'm scared. Why are you scared? Oh, like, oh, there you go. There you go. Now just crack it like that. Now pull it out with your fingers. Okay, there you go. Dump it in. You did it! I got shell in it. Oh, you only got a little shell in it. It's okay. You did a good job, though. A little bit more. Oh. <laughs> that was a little too wild. I, I did get shell in it at that time. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, let's wash her hands. Okay, do you know how to spray the pan? Wait, what? Just spray it? Yeah, do it a little bit kind of far away though. No, 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 I'm not far away. <laughs> no. Okay. Nice. Rather? No. Okay, just like right here. There you go. And then just spray it. Like that? Yep. Yep. Oh, you gotta, okay, see this little thing? It has to be facing down. Okay. You gotta okay, face okay. him to the side. There you go. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, so with pans, you never want to have it like this because say Aurora was running by and what if it flipped the hot pan on her? So whenever you're cooking, you always have it hanging like that. Okay? Okay, now get a fork and you gotta stir your little eggs. Okay. He's so cute. It's so fun cooking with kids. We should have a whole cooking segment, Brody. You're gonna be a master chef by the end of the year. Poke the yolks so that it breaks them. There you go. Now poke the other one. And now stir it together like a master chef. I think you should have Alex try it. See what he thinks. Alex! He's 
try it. He made these eggs all by himself. Oh, it's probably hot. Oh, they're good. They're good? Oh, yeah. Rate on one to 10? Uh, 9.5. Nice. Oh, yeah, that was a little hot. Ow. <laughs> you know how when you really swallow, hot, huh? you feel like right here? Ow. Yeah. Here you go. Good job. Good job, Brody. And this is our cooking segment with Brody. <laughs> And that's a wrap. Yay, our dryer's getting fixed today. Finally, with the kids can go back out of my laundry room and use their own laundry room. So thank you. Lifesaver. I have missed the dryer. You missed the dryer? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. So Jamie and I are gonna run over to the post office box really quick and get, are you expecting something? Fan mail. Oh. Okay, Jamie's our little fan mail queen. She loves to get it and go through it and she loves each and every one of you. I know that. I'll hit you with three Uno reverse cards. Oh, really? Oh, no. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what's up. Because if you win, I don't want to be a loser, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of the packages that you guys saw. Again, thank you guys so much. We love each and every one of you. Go ahead, Amy. Pretty, it's a purple queen. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Sandy Wesley. I love this blanket. It's this is so beautiful, Sandy. I love it. Oh, it's a solar panel. And this one is from... Thank you, Junie. This is really cool. This is so nice. Thank you guys so much. We are going to go ahead and end it here, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.